What is up guys? I'm Joshua Weissman and today I want to discuss fried chicken. But not just any fried chicken, Japanese fried chicken, aka chicken karage. And I'm going to show you how to make it. Now this is no gimmick. Japanese fried chicken, aka karage, is a super unique way to fry chicken. And one of the cooler things about this recipe is that it's fried purely with cornstarch rather than all-purpose flour. Super duper unusual for a fried chicken, in my opinion. It's unusual. I don't know about you. So one of the plus sides is that makes this gluten-free. So if you're gluten-free and or you don't eat gluten or you're celiac or whatever, this recipe has got you covered. That's right. I'm looking out for you guys. I'm looking out for everybody. I'm just gonna stop talking. Let's make this. All right, now first we're gonna make the marinade for our chicken. You're gonna start with two tablespoons of tamari, two tablespoons of gochujang, which is a fermented chili paste, super easy to find. It's not like that exotic. A lot of grocery stores carry it. One teaspoon of fish sauce, two heaping tablespoons of honey, three plump fresh cloves of garlic grated. I literally made this recipe up on the spot, so yeah. That'll be what looks like about two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar and one solid tablespoon of mirin, which is a sweet rice cooking wine, super widely available too. Now just give that a quick whisk until everything is thoroughly incorporated. Next, you're gonna need one and a half pounds of skinless, boneless chicken thighs. Now we're gonna cut these chicken thighs into one and a half inch pieces. They don't have to be perfect cubes, but you do want them to be evenly sized, that way they cook evenly. And all these chicken pieces are gonna go directly into the marinade, so make sure you have a bowl with the marinade next to you, that way you can put them in the marinade as you go. Once all of your chicken is cut and placed in the marinade, you're going to toss the chicken in the marinade, lightly massaging the marinade into the chicken, just getting everything sort of, you know, get everything close and get them to know each other. Now you can let this sit for up to two days to marinate, or you can use it right away. I would recommend giving it some time though. Now heat a heavy bottom pot with about two and a half inches of frying oil to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now obviously your chicken has marinated for some amount of time at this point. So you're gonna take that marinated chicken, shake off the excess marinade, and toss it in cornstarch. Make sure that you use enough cornstarch to coat the entire piece of chicken. I know it seems weird, but trust me. Now, working in batches, you're gonna carefully lower your dredged chicken into the preheated oil. Now, I repeat, work this in batches. You're probably gonna need to do it in about three to four batches, so just be patient. It won't take too long. They fry in about two to three minutes. Once the chicken is fried for about two to three minutes and it is golden brown and crispy, they are ready to pull. And you're just gonna place them on a plate lined with paper towels just to drain some of that excess oil. Once all of your chicken is fried, you're gonna season it generously with flaky salt or kosher salt. You know, you don't have to be bougie like me. Now this part is optional, but we're gonna make a little aioli. So you're gonna take a half cup of mayonnaise, one fresh clove of garlic grated, a half teaspoon of fish sauce, and a half tablespoon of lemon juice. Season that with salt and whisk it up until everything's combined. That's actually it. There's, there's nothing else that needs to be added. That is the aioli that you will be dipping the chicken in. As per usual, the unveiling. and that is it. Now you might be feeling sad now, so I would invite you to subscribe or like this video and you'll get more and I'll be back next week. Yeah.